Hi all, my name is Seema from Informatica Global Customer Support. In this video, we'll see how to enable DNS trace for Teradata ODBC connection. DNS trace is nothing but the log between the ODBC driver and the Teradata, which will have information about API calls, message transfers and other driver actions. This log is mainly used while troubleshooting the Teradata related issues in Informatica. Steps to enable DNS tracing differs for 1520 and 16 onward. For 1520, we need to add the mentioned properties in the odpc.ini for a particular Teradata DSN. For DNS trace file path, we need to mention the path where we want DNS trace should be created. Look, default location of odbc.ini file is nothing but info home odbc 7.1 odbc.ini. For TTU 16 and above, we cannot enable the DNS trace at the odbc.ini file. We need to enable it in teradata.teradata.odbc.ini file which will be part of TTU installation. In that file, we just need to change the log level to 6 and we need to add the path where we want to generate the teradata traces. Default location of this file is teradata client installation odbc underscore 64 slash lib. The following table shows what are the values we can be set for log level parameter in the teradata dot teradata odbc dot ini file. We usually prefer to set it to 6 which will log all the activity. Now let's see how to enable the DNS trace. I have logged into the Informatica server machine. Now let's go to Teradata client install location that is cd op Teradata client 1620 odbc64 slash lib where that file presents. Let's do ls. We need to modify the teradata.teradata.odbc.ini file in order to enable the DNS trace. Let me open the file. Here I have already set the log level to 6 and log path to the info home and I have created a td logs file there. It will generate the traces over there. Let me come out of the file. Now let's go to the log location and see if there is any logs generated already. I don't see any logs generated here. Let us run the mapping and see whether it is generating DS and tracing or not. Now let's start the workflow and see. This is my workflow which has one session and it is reading from the Teradata source. Let me show, show the connection. This is my Teradata connection which will use ODBC connection type. And this is the target which will write to flat file. Let me start the workflow. We can see that workflow has completed successfully. Let's go to server machine and see whether the logs are generated or not. Presently, I am in Informatica server machine and I am in the logs directory which I have given in Teradata ODBC INI file. Let me do ls. We can see that traces are generated. There, It will generate two types of traces. One is driver traces, this one, and the other one is connection trace. Driver trace will have the information about the driver activity and connection traces will be created for the each connection made to the database. Let me open one of the driver trace. This is how it looks. We need to send both connection and driver log to the Informatica support as well as Teradata support if you want to troubleshoot any Teradata related issues. For more information regarding the same, you can refer to the KP articles 151308 and 583732 which has detailed steps to how to enable DNS trace. To hear feedback from you, you can send your feedback to support videos at informatica.com or you can write to twitter.com slash infosupport. Thank you.